Hey guys, Miles here at Tactical Hive, and I'm joined today by Rawson from Tactical Performance Center, who you've seen in many of our other videos. And he's gracious enough to join us in another series of videos for you guys. And today, what we're gonna be discussing is anticipation and how to overcome it. All right, so let's uh, first define what is anticipation. Actually, the two most common errors that most of the shooters actually do while they're shooting a handgun. One of those errors, it's actually anticipation, and the other one most common is a flinch. Now, what's the difference? Anticipation is actually countering the force that the recoil actually produces towards you. You'll feel the recoil like a slight push, right? And it's a already developed instinct from our early age to anticipate, to counter any kind of force that pushes you forward in order to preserve your balance. Now, flinch is something else. Flinch is an ability to actually separate the action of the trigger finger from the rest of the hand. And what's happening at the moment that you pull the trigger, you're actually triggering a sympathetic movement of the rest of the fingers. So that will manifest on the target if you're right-handed shooter with the down left hit on the target. So there are two differences. The anticipation means that the shot will be just centered but low and flinch will be down but left if you're right-handed shooter and uh, down right if you're lefty. So today we'll learn how to deal with anticipation. So give me a favor, take your shooting stance, you have a dummy gun, safety reasons, build your grip here. All right, now I will play the Mr. Recoil. Okay. So I will apply an amount of force, like relatively like at nine millimeter will do while you're shooting. Mm -hmm. For you, don't do nothing. Okay. Just imagine that you're actually shooting the gun. Okay. You ready? Yep. Here it comes. Oh. So you see that little, little push forward? Mm -hmm. Basically, you didn't stay static, you pushed a little bit. Why? And basically, you're countering that force of the recoil. So, when you fire a shot, there's a vector of force created that it's opposite from the trajectory of the projectile. And we call that force a recoil, right? Now, if you preset a proper stance that will able to control all that passively by shifting the center of gravity forward and some other principles apply to that that we preach in TPC, you're able to control that force without doing nothing. Simply trust your stance, simply trust your grip, right? Go ahead right now, I'll give you a little bit more information. Okay. Take a perfect stance, press with the shins a little bit more, head forward, center of gravity is positively forward, I will tap again, simulating the recoil, right? Okay. Tell me, is that enough force to put you in the ground? No. Right? So you don't need to preserve your uh, balance right now. Everything is preset to manage that amount of force. Mm -hmm. You don't need to worry about balance or that you'll be rocked back yeah. from the balance. Simply observe and let it happen. Trust your stance. Bingo, and right? It, Right now, there is no reaction, right? So if you know how to build a proper stance, that preset shooting platform that will control everything for you, you simply need to trust it and use the vision just to verify your sight alignment there. Let the shot happen by itself. Don't try to counter the recoil because you will anticipate. All right. Uh, this is how we can acclimate that problem, actually get rid of uh, anticipation dry without a single shot fired. But right now, let's like, actually make a live fire exercise. That's, it's called the 50-50 drill. It's uh, one of the drills that we do quite often in our handgun mastery classes, TPC. So very useful drill with a low round count, but it will show you exactly the problem if you have any deficiencies with the uh, anticipation. So, Miles, you're ready to shoot several rounds? Absolutely. All right, so we have our 50-50 target. It's a trigger stripe that uh, everybody can download from our website, tacticalperformancecenter.com. Targets, 
it's basically a one inch stripe that it's placed right now horizontally. Now, what is your goal? We're shooting from about four yards. Load your gun, mm -hmm. put one round in the chamber and then remove the magazine, yep. right? Let's go ahead. All right, we'll start from compressed low ready. Now, when I say go, mm -hmm. you will present the gun with the, your speed of success. You align the sights on the top edge of that white line. Fire one shot, and once the sight's telling you that you can fire a second shot, you pull the trigger again. Okay. Obviously, the second shot will be dry because you, the magazine is out. Yeah. But you will carefully observe that front sight. And if you see that front sight dips, on that second shot, mm -hmm. that means that you still have anticipation. You push the gun down, you anticipate that shot. The main idea to stay absolutely passive and to just hear the click, that front side supposed to stay absolutely steady according to the rear side notch, mm -hmm. no reaction. Got it. So let's give it a try okay. and go. That's a very good trigger pull. Let's repeat that exercise one more time. Now, the idea is to deliver that second shot within a two seconds part time, mm -hmm. not longer than that. Mm -hmm. Why? We're cheating the brain. So the brain cannot recognize that the second shot will be dry and the subconscious mind will do exactly what you do when you're shooting live fire shot. Mm -hmm. So that will show you if you have that built in, if you have that anticipation that you need to deal with, yep. or you're good. So good. let's repeat the exercise one more time. You ready? And go. It's a prep, click. All right, let's do it one more time. You ready for one more repetition? Okay. And go. So you see that, you see how actually you push the gun down, you see that the front side dip, mm -hmm. right? And that's a pure example of anticipation. Yeah. So now just preset everything again, stiffen your wrist, stiffen your elbows, shift your center of gravity forward and completely trust that uh, shooting platform to manage everything for you. The only thing that will move is your trigger finger like you want to say to somebody, come here. Mm -hmm. And the eyes are just observing. Yeah. Remember guys, we aiming with our stance and with the grip, and the vision simply confirms everything. Only the trigger finger moves. Okay. Let's repeat it the last time. Let's do it right. Ready and go. That's a perfect trigger pull. Alrighty, that's a very simple drill with a relatively low run count, but uh, that will help you to overcome that tendency to anticipate and to react on the shot. You simply need to accept it. Great job. So we hope you guys like that little video on how to overcome anticipation. It's one of the major ways to get over that problem, which is one of the biggest challenges for shooters out there. Now, if you like uh, our small tip today, stay tuned because next time, actually we're going to explain how to deal with the flinch. And we'll give you several tips the tip is a way to overcome that flinch. But before then, don't forget to click like and subscribe so we'll deliver more magic to you in the future.